one that's going to be the void with yet another fantastic video. Now, before we begin, let's introduce our players real fast. As you can see, here we got the one, the only, the great, the hellhound, the star of my channel. As you can see, beginning off nice, but this game is actually really chill, uh, dude. So, uh, just, you know, this is the star of the show, so he deserves a small round of applause, doesn't he? I think he does at least. Yeah. If you clap with me, that's great. If you haven't, cla you, if you didn't clap with me there, shame on you. But you'll get a chance to redeem yourself later on. Trust me. So yeah. Anyway, uh, you can. Have a, you should have read the chat maybe a bit. I don't know. Uh, he wanted the chill game, and I actually also kind of wanted the chill game. So I was like, well, let's just go something that I never usually go, and that's High Templar. I wanted to go High Templar. Try it out, you know. Because the game before this one, I think, I got pretty much wrecked by High Templar and I never played it myself. So I was like, hey, why not just try it out myself, you know? Don't play it, I'll promise, uh... I said it to Hellhound that I'm not gonna go something which I usually go, which is High Templar. So I kind of hoped he would also... I kind of assumed he would also go something chill like that, but... Um, you'll see later on what he decides to do. And uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, my ally here didn't decide to get Stim. Big no no. I really, really, really recommend the Stim. He says he needs all money, but the Stim is definitely worth it. Always. At least not always. Uh, I mean, when you go melee, it is always worth it. And yeah, there's just almost no situation where Stim won't be worth it, you know? It's only 150 minerals and can give you so much thing. So yeah, meanwhile trading off with a pink guy, you gotta be careful because Lings, if you take a bad engagement, you know, the Lings will absolutely wreck uh, the Spectre, so you gotta be careful there, but it was a nice engagement. Anyway, I saw on the minimap, I saw the shop go red, and that means I know red will select the shop, and so that's why I looked down to see what he bought, and unfortunately for me, he bought battle cruisers, and I was like, ah, uh, not so good, not so niceness. He already had a battle cruiser, and I didn't have my high templar, so that sucked. And what also sucked was that that pink uh, guy Van, he was also really adamant about his tower. He really wanted to get his tower this game, as you can see. Meanwhile, just killing off yellow a bit, and yeah, finally got enough for the high templar, and. Like, I said I was gonna go High Templar, so I was gonna stick with it, you know. Even though High Templar is really bad versus the uh, BC, I definitely wouldn't go recommend going High Templar versus Battle Cruiser. Because they have this nasty spell. Oh, uh, if I can select it. Ah, uh, you'll believe me. Um, Battle Cruiser has this nasty spell called Yamato Cannon. And here, I was like, Reapers, mm, tasty, it's gonna be good for my High Templar. Should I actually dodge the, this, maybe even savior this because of the uh, Reaper? Yeah, I killed one, as you can see by the plus 50, but I don't know for sure if it was worth it because I got bombed a lot. That actually kind of sucks. Anyway, yeah, but the High Templar is really weak versus the Battle Cruiser because, as you can see, 500 health points and the Battle Cruiser uh, starts with 800 damage on the Yamato Cannon without any upgrades. So that's one shot to your High Templar. And as you can see, I'm trying to focus down Hellhound's troops a bit with the Storm because he's the most dangerous one. And as you can see, Pink being really, really, really annoying with his uh, thing. Not yet, though. Uh, I'll try to go with my upgrades uh, this game a lot. Better, a lot more than usual, and that should be possible because High Templar is easily clickable. And as you can see, uh, the first upgrades I got was Heroic Weapons. I believe I got two. Let me see if I can click Marine. Yeah, I just already got two damage upgrades on my heroes. And uh, as you'll know from watching my other videos, that's because the High Templar Storm will deal more damage. And here I saw the Colossus and I was, oh, I was like, oh, damn that. Focus the Marines with your storms. You wanna definitely, I try to not storm the melee, but here they were really clumped up and that was a really nice storm for me. But in general, you really wanna focus down uh, Marines and Spectres early game. Here I saw them. Nice that. Uh, yeah. Because, well, the radius of the storm equals more damage. And the Colossus guy was so annoying, he wasn't. And he grabbed his tower. He was really adamant with his tower. And he got this Colossus, which was only. It was like camping his Colossus the entire game over there, so that kind of already sucked. So, and the and the most annoying thing is about this. I can't grab his this tower, and my ally is totally. Uh, yeah, my ally is pinging there, but I can't. The problem with this is, 
he was pinging there, he wanted me to support him from down here, go here, yalla, and f help him focus down the Colossus. And I decided to not do that, I decided to go through the high ground, because the problem with this, my ally didn't have this tower, and he was really reluctant on getting this tower, really lazy about that, and that was really annoying. And that's the reason I didn't go here, because it was it would have been very possible for Hellhound to have stand, stood either here or here with its battlecruisers. And if I would be standing over here, focusing on the Colossus, I don't have a recall, so my my army would be as good as dead if he decides to back me. And I couldn't have known where Hellhound is at the moment. At the moment he's pretty much not occupied, and I don't really know his math, mass. Also don't know his math, but hey. Um, and the Reaper guy, it would have been a very nice situation. I would have gotten back from this entire place, and they could have seen this if they had this tower, and they did have that tower. So, yeah, that's the reason I didn't go uh, there. You gotta, you gotta be careful with the High Templar because the High Templar is really not a survival uh, unit. As you can see, the only spell it has for uh, surviving is this Force Field, and costs 50 energy. But it's people can you know battle cruisers won't give a damn about your force fields. They will yamato you anyway. And sure you can f uh, feed back that, but then the army will be there, and that'll just be bad stuff all around. So I was like. Grab your tower, mate. That was really annoying. I was having trouble gathering my tower with from the van, but my ally was also not doing the best in his tower grabbing. I mean, sure, there's battle cruisers there, but still, as soon as the battle cruiser comes, you just move your thing back, move your zealot back a bit, then move it, uh, then move it back to the tower when the battle cruisers are gone. You know, easy. Yeah, do that. Got to be really careful though. I really uh, recommend you. Got to be careful with this uh, because one Yamato cannon, as I mentioned before, and your High Templar is dead. Now, luckily, High Templar, the feedback deals. Uh, oh, actually, I thought it deal dealt more damage, but it deals a fair amount of damage. And here, the Colossus prevents me from growing my tower again, which is really annoying. And here, I see uh, through the radar tower that there's a lot of mass there. Annoyed that my ally didn't grab his tower, so I just grabbed it for him once again. And decided to storm the marines, and I noticed the plus four, so that meant cracklings. Meanwhile, my ally is there, folks firing down that stuff. Uh, oh, killing that tower guy, but that's not gonna work out with the battle cruisers there. I see uh, basically pink, yellow, and red everywhere, focusing down the marines. The, Ze the zealots won't really die to the storm, you know, because they just run. In general, they run right past it. I wanted to scan if that was pink or red, and I wanted to storm that, but pink really prevented me from doing that. Here I am again. Tower grabbing is really one, it's just so essential, you know? Here, actually could have stormed the, actually could have stormed the marines there. My bad, but still, plus four all around. Not, no one's uh, unhappy about that. But anyway, as I said, yeah, there, there we go, nice juicy marines. Uh, totally forgot the upgrades. I didn't. Yeah, I. The first one I got was uh, range because I knew with the battle cruisers over there, I needed to be. I needed to be able to storm from quite afar to not get Yamato cannon. So I got. I focused on the range upgrade uh, first. I didn't get this upgrade until like last, and I also got one energy upgrade because well, because of this, you know. Energy, more energy is more awesome. So, but first of all, you want to get damage, and the reason you want to get damage over energy is um, Psy Storm actually leeches energy. The more damage you deal with the Psy Storm, you, uh, you get energy for it in return. So this means for if you deal more damage, you leech more energy. So, you know, do the maths. And uh, at this point, I was totally sick and tired of the of the Colossus, so I decided to get my Phoenix out. Maybe should have done it a bit sooner, but I was just so sick and tired of the of that Colossus. So annoying, and I also kind of didn't want the Colossus guy to feed uh, to feed uh, Hellhound because the Colossus can easily get Yamato down. Here, nice juicy Marines, very juicy. Didn't want to stay out uh, too long simply because of the threat of Hellhound coming from below, you know, because my ally, as you can see, didn't didn't grab his tower. Which is really, really annoying. Here I scanned for Hellhound. And yeah, I know that's juicy, but I don't want Hellhound to back me. That's the problem. You know, I need to grab this tower before I'm gonna go left, because otherwise the Hellhound can just back me from the middle. So, yeah. 
I mean, well, here I see the storm. I try to focus down those blue marines. They look nasty, but I kind of missed the storm there. And here, oh, this is going to be such a good engagement. Look at the health of those. Look at this. Do you see how many plus 50 that was? That's kind of a nice thing. The re the reapers got the... Um, where is the reaper at? There we go. The reaper uh, has this... The heat ball. There's two upgrades you can buy. Either the, you get plus two range or you get uh, assault squad. And basically that means you can spawn mini reapers. But they also give bounty here. Nice marine storm. They also give bounty, and what I did there, I just stormed right on top of the Reapers, and since the Reapers doesn't have a high health pool, you can just, uh, uh, you can basically kill them fairly easily with, uh, with, uh, with a Psy Storm, and that's exactly what I did, and that fed me, like, a lot. Oh, wrong button. This is what I wanted to do. And meanwhile, finally, I got, uh, this one of the last, I, uh, basically got the last one of these. As you can see, I barely, I didn't get a single marine or uh, specter damage. I spent all my money on heroic weapons. I didn't spend any money on health yet, and that's actually fair. I should have maybe bought a bit more health. Here, that was a savior. I should have maybe bought a bit more, uh, a couple of more health upgrades. But the thing is, there wasn't a single ghost on this field, and he grabbed this tower again. Really annoying. But the thing is, there wasn't a single ghost on this field. Here I totally even did just neglect to see this. I was like, huh, plus 60, what happened here? <laughs> didn't, totally didn't notice that. Here's two marines, so craft on beam. Now, here, this is really, that was really in, in kind of a small intense moment. Because the battle cruisers have this shield, and it basically acts like the regular immortal shield there. It can block any damage greater than 50. And this one deals more than 50 damage, meaning the shield will go down. And as soon as the shield goes down, I was planning to do a feedback. But he retreated, so that didn't happen. Anyway, I see a lot of Vikings here and Corruptors, and this is basically to prevent my Phoenix from lifting his Colossus. But whatever, I'm going to be patient with it, you know. Okay. Meanwhile, I finally get my, decided to get one of my first... Um, yeah, I got a, s a couple of Spectre upgrades, a couple of Marine upgrades, and this was basically be because I was noticing that... My Psy Storm was uh, basically killing everything there was on the map anyway, so there was no reason for me to get even more damage upgrades at this point. There were no high health, really high health units like Reavers or Immortals or anything, you know. Or basically nothing with more than 200 health, basically. So I decided I had enough uh, heroic damage upgrades and decided to make my army focus a bit more on my army, you know. Get some Marine upgrades, get some, uh, yeah, Spectres upgrades, you know. And yeah, also when I thought I had enough damage upgrades, I first got these upgrades. Our click guy goes away, leaves the game here. Decided like, eh, why not? I have the I have the damage, so why not? You know. Uh, oh yeah, and as you can see, already got 600 kills, 680 kills versus Balakris guy. Ooh, I didn't quite. I, I wasn't quite sure in this engagement because of the. Flashiness, if you will. I wasn't quite sure if he was Yamatoing. I only just now saw he was actually Yamatoing there. And that was a, that was a misclick by uh, by him, and I should have lost my High Templar there. What I should have done was feed back the battle cruiser, which was um, should have feed back the battle cruiser, which was Yamatoing me to prevent him from sniping me. I got lucky that he wasn't that he didn't Yamato my High Templar there. I'll be honest. Here, see, ooh, nice storm, nice storm. He's pretty eager on uh, on killing my High Templar at the moment with his with this thing, getting a free corruptor there. Always nice. Yeah, High Tem he says High Templar is overpowered, but I I gotta correct him here to strong because at the moment uh, none of the players are actually trying to counter me. I mean, sure the battle cruiser guy a bit with the Yamato, you know. But the thing is, uh, if they really wanted to counter me, they should have gotten Ghost. Ghost is the one and the only the best upgrade uh, unit versus High Templar and uh, Infester. This is because simply uh, Ghost will, with double EMP, will instantly kill High Templar, basically shutting it down. Here, retreat my High Templar to get, uh, stay away from the, stay away from the Yamato range. He's still grabbing his tower, really annoying. But yeah, if you really want to, if you're really having trouble with the High Templar or uh, Festers, don't try and snipe them. Try and just go double EMP. That will instantly kill them, and if it doesn't kill them, it'll at least hurt them a lot and drain all their energy. And if you find that double EMP doesn't, uh, if you find that double EMP doesn't kill it, 
Here I see the rally point. You see the rally point here, so I knew there was a large army on to the left, but I didn't quite want to risk it, you know, because you could also be, you could have also recalled and stuff, so. And the rally point stopped at a certain point. Here I saw two Reapers, I really want to storm that, but meh, no luck. Um, uh, yeah, uh, here I want Scan who killed the command center, but they were already dead. Ooh. That's that. Here, he's right and he probably wanted to buy more Reapers, and the Reapers were going to be just feed for me. I should have scanned on the high ground there. Very possible for uh, for the Hellhound to be there with his um, battle cruisers. Anyway, Hellhound fell, fed along with his BCs. And at this point, we were kind of in a meh meh situation because Hellhound with his battle cruisers, he was way ahead, you know. My army was. Uh, oh, this this is going to be genius! Look at this, the rally point. What you also always should do when you select the shop is put the rally point towards yourself so that this may happen, you know? It doesn't happen often, but when it does happen, as you can see, it's just worth it, the small effort, you know? It doesn't take much effort and can give you a lot of money sometimes. Yeah, I was hoping he'd do the same, but he learned from his mistake. That's why you should always check the rally point for that stuff. Yeah, well, as long as I know where the battle cruisers are, I'm not really afraid of the Yamato because I can kind of, you know, I know where they are, so I anticipate where the Yamato will be coming from. Anyway, yeah, I still got the Phoenix, because why not, you know, I don't really need the gas. I wasn't going for Archon, I didn't go Archon the entire game, because I knew, like, at the moment, I'm in a really sweet spot. Apparently, they think I'm too weak to be, to get a Ghost, but I'm not, uh, yeah, apparently they think I'm too weak to, uh, for them to buy a Ghost, you know, for it to be worth the effort to buy a Ghost, if you will. So I didn't quite want to go Archon, because that would definitely make them uh, want to counter me. I think for the moment they thought that... Oh, look at that storm. Genius. I think for the moment they thought that the battle cruiser would be sufficient. Here, yeah, I kind of whiffed the storm. Could have been way better. Kind of uh, put it in the middle where no one... Here, yeah, I did it again. I was like, why am I doing that? That's not smart. And then I finally hit the sweet spot. And as you can see, uh, thousand kills. Whoop, whoop. And basically what I'm going to do now... I know it's the bounties and stuff, and that meant I didn't see Red go past here all game, so he had to be over here in the high ground. And, well, let's see the upgrades. 4-4. Four, four. Here, look at this. I lost, uh, that was basically, uh, except for the losing of the Phoenix, that went according to plan. I uh, used the Phoenix to auto-attack, used feedback to kill it, but I lost my Phoenix. But to be honest, the Phoenix for the other thing... Uh, Phoenix for a cruiser is pretty much worth it, you know. Here, getting that sweet feedback off. Notice how I feedback the one, uh, here, gigantic misclick, I <laughs> walked in way too long. Notice how I feedback the one with the most energy, because the other one didn't have any energy to feed uh, to Yamato and me, so might as well just do that. Here, it goes again, <laughs> dodges the storm, but dodges the wrong way, unfortunately. I had a Phoenix on the way, but then it was like, hey, I was building the Phoenix, but then I thought to myself, like, hey, there isn't even a Colossus on the field, I don't really need the... I don't really need the um, the Phoenix at the moment because at the moment it's also like everyone, if bottom right wants to go to uh, oh, bottom right wants to uh, feed from top left, you know they'll have to go past me and that will most likely mean that I'm going to be able to get a storm off. So I I didn't I decided not to build a, uh, the Phoenix because the Colossus guy wasn't bothering me a lot anymore. Oh yeah, kind of annoying blue. Uh, I wanted to save my tower, but nope. No luck, unfortunately. So then I decided to go for this tower, seeing as Blue was busy with that one. Whoop. And here we go. Basically, I'm catching up with Hellhound slowly but surely. And the main problem with the Hellhound is he has to get past me to feed off top left, and I can just farm basically with impunity from top left and bottom right. And also, I gotta be honest with you, Lord Marshall, this game fed me a lot. He, yeah, he fed me a lot. So yeah. Lord Marshall was actually quite fairly dangerous for me because he has Marauder Slow, and Marauder Slow also slows the High Templar, and this means it's very easily snipeable for him, and that's why I also try and keep my High Templar at a distance as much as I can, you know. Yeah, small storm. As you can see, if you look at, looked at the energy there, oh, come on, click. Uh, yeah, yeah, 1,300 kills and counting going on strong. Look at the energy here, as you can see. Oh, if I don't, yeah. Woo, look at the energy shoot up. That's basically why I want to get damage before uh, before energy, and why I prefer to get damage before energy regeneration. 
granted I'm not the best High Templar player because uh, this game High Templar worked out extremely well but bear in mind this wasn't uh, there wasn't any ghost here here this failed really hard double savior that just sucks I, pro I proposed to Raiden a change for uh, changing it so you can't use two saviors at once but everyone totally ignored me and I was really sad or they didn't ignore me they didn't like the idea because of the you know team play and stuff but I don't know weird guy it'd be way better to be honest so anyway after that drop I decided to make uh, to, uh, to build them into a planetary fortress here put the fancy red point for the Phoenix by the way in case you were wondering here I thought like hmm oh never mind actually we getting that sweet storm off with that sweet look at this already maximum energy and that's basically uh, of the damage upgrades I didn't quite get a lot more I only got like one or a couple of more damage upgrades for now because I was doing dealing a ton of damage versus the raiders I was dealing uh, I was killing I was melting the Marines and I noticed that this guy also still only had specters so that wasn't going to be any uh, that wasn't going to be any danger for me uh, yeah so that's just gonna be sweet storms sweet storms all around oh Ooh, nice 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 very nice. And yeah, I basically got planetary forge for the marine drops. If you're uh, uh, in danger of being sniped, you just want to get planetary fortress. Ooh, this is going to be quite a sweet. Also, notice, uh, I think uh, this is also where I saw the Colossus out, and I was like, hmm, maybe time to reveal the Phoenix. But it didn't have the money, so. And as long I don't really want to engage the army with the Colossus. I didn't really want to engage the Colossus, so, uh, you know, I just want to, basically the tactic with the uh, with, uh, High Templar is hit and run. Just storm and then move away, because if you're going to engage that, usually your army will have way uh, far worse upgrades anyway. Because you spent them on your High Templar and on your army, so that's in general why you want to kind of, or that's just why you want to do a hit and run, you know, just storm and then immediately run away. Because the most damage you're going to do is with a storm anyway. Your army is not going to do a lot, as you can see here. Look at how much damage my storm does in, my, in comparison to my army. So just run away. And I, I, I knew there was danger of getting uh, backed like that. So I, I already checked that I had enough energy to mass recall before that engagement. And I did, and I recalled, and everything worked out like a charm. Yeah, I decided to get the Phoenix for that pesky annoyingly colossus kind of really really it's kind of really weird to me that hellhound decided to get a colossus because i don't know maybe it'll, maybe it's probably good for my high templar but here i saw the drop marines so i assumed though that he was out of saviors i could have counted that he was out of saviors actually and this was pretty bad for me i should we should have uh, killed the merc compound before that but we didn't hear mass recall again because no high templar is bad engagement. I didn't put my high templar in there as well uh, because of the threat of a savior. I didn't. I wasn't quite sure if he had a savior or not, so I retreated my high templar here. Look at this. I was just waiting for my high templar to get my, to get off cooldown. You know. Look at this fatty fatty storms. And this is basically just how you want the want them. You saw uh, they were all bunched up here, all clumped up here, and there was even mass behind here waiting to move in more. So if you just storm here, it's like just my sweet spot, you know, just the sweet spot. And look at that! Look look at that! Just so so much damage. You really want to not do that? Actually, play like this, putting them bunched up and stuff. You know, especially considering how much behind I was in Bounty and how I caught up, I, I was surprised there wasn't a single uh, there wasn't a single ghost on the field yet. That was really amazing. Also, I noticed that there, were, there was a Marine and a Spectre on that watchtower, and I was kind of amazed that one Marine took out both, and it was like, oh yeah, awesome Marine. I was proud of that Marine. Here, um, I didn't quite scan the base yet, so I sent him uh, here and noticed the first ghost. I don't even know why I scanned, because there's only one team left. But anyway, as you can see in the bottom left, I, I didn't see, uh, see I didn't know that the, how do you call them? I didn't know that the missile turrets were gone yet, and that's a 300 minerals, you know. Here's a scan, the scans are very dangerous. Very dangerous, because if he scans, that usually means he wants to know where your heroes are, and that usually means that he's out there to kill them with your go with his ghost. Here, killed one marine, I killed 
He killed one of my marines and I killed a lot of his. Here I see the Dark Templar decloaked, so I knew that the ghost was somewhere in the base there, so I could move around fairly freely. Notice how I keep an eye on the ghost, move my High Templar back, one storm, move my High Templar back. Here I got the achievement, I was like, whoa, 2k kills, I didn't even notice that. I didn't even know my realize my High Templar had that many kills until I got that achievement, so it was pretty cool. Anyway, at this point in time, I have uh, six uh, uh, upgrades. I decided uh, six damage upgrades. I decided that at this point was a good point to uh, get my range and weapon speed. Notice I kept my expect my uh, uh, what you call them mercenary damage fairly low. And yeah, as you can see, I got like four more damage upgrades. I was kind of afraid of moving out because of the ghost, but here I saw that the ghost was still in town, so it was still in bottom right uh, thing. So yeah. Yeah, I was kind of like, eh, you're feeling like quiet a lot. So, <laughs> I was kind of sad. Here, I put my High Templar back because of the threat of the ghost. I actually should have bought an Observer. That would have been the best uh, thing, but I don't know. Here, I was like Double Colossus, and I was like, hot damn, Double Colossus, it's going to be... Yeah, that was basically... Should have happened way sooner. Here, whoa, nice. Here, I was like Double Colossus. I should have retreated from this way sooner. But the problem with this was my High Templar didn't have any energy, so I was actually kind of forced to recall. I should have done that way sooner. Uh, yeah, and he was like, eh, maybe you want to get a ghost to snipe Colossus, because if my ally would have gone, or would get ghost, then that would just be the end, you know. If he, if he would play ghost and play well, that would be the end, because he can EMP their ghost and all that stuff. I killed the ghost in the previous engagement, so I knew there was no real threat at the moment. But this double colossus was really annoying because I could maybe lift one, but the problem with that is, here I decided to try and focus it down. But the problem was I was really afraid of savior. If I had got a savior, if I would have gotten savior there, that would have been bad, bad news bears. Especially since it was so, especially since my high templar had so many kills, I didn't quite want to waste that. But uh, yeah, so I was kind of really scared or scared of uh, look at this, <laughs> 62 damage per half second. So I was kind of scared of just you know uh, putting my phoenix out there. Here I scanned and it was like eh, kind of offensive, but I was also scared of the ghost. Here I saw the hole in the army, so yeah. Also look at this, boom, feedback. Feedback actually has a, a, a tiny bit longer range, if I recall, than EMP. So you you can uh, you can rest assured that uh, as soon as you see the ghost. And you cue, uh, you cue the, you cue the feedback on the ghost, and you walk away. You're gonna get, you're gonna feedback him without getting EMP'd yourself, unless the ghost is like extremely good. But I don't quite think either A, it's not possible, or B, it's a very close call. And it'll be worth it for you anyway because you get, when you get a feedback off, which damages the ghost as well and drain his energy. Where you can just uh, regenerate the energy of the storms. Uh, minus one. I already counted the savior earlier on, but I didn't quite remember that at this point, I think. So yeah, at this point, is basically just uh, keeping the army upgraded. I decided to get another phoenix just for the... Uh, just for the... Uh, Colossi. But the problem with that is... Um, the problem with... Uh, the main problem with the phoenix versus, this, uh, versus the Colossus in this game... Oh, that's the savior is the, the enemy ghost. If the enemy ghost EMPs my thing twice and has a fair amount of damage or craze, he'll kill my uh, two phoenix. And that was kind of sad. <laughs> Here, look at how much I killed and how much he killed. I killed almost nothing, so I was like, hmm, this is gonna be bad. Fortunately for us, sudden death was near. So, yeah, basically it's just waiting. It's just waiting a bit because I knew I couldn't quite... Uh, I knew the ghost was in low energy, so I could just run in there a bit. I wanted him to scan for the ghost, but... Oh. Oh, no, wait. I said scan because there was a red scan, and that meant his ghost would be uh, detected. So, yeah, basically, at this point in time, it's just, you know, getting... Uh, <laughs> I was like, hmm, sudden death. How, exp how extremely pleasant. But at this point, it's just basically, you know, getting the regular upgrades. What I try to do is keep the health and damage upgrade of marines about the same you know it's a uh, how do you call them it's uh, an estimate you know but in general it's a uh, where it'll work out you know so yeah 
Uh, yeah, I put some marines in the middle, so we'll still be able to hold middle, and kind of wanted, you know, to stay on the towers. Because if we stayed on, uh, we already have more income with two towers in middle, but if we could just uh, totally decimate his uh, income uh, by also getting, by also getting, uh, yeah, basically all four towers will be uh, fair, or it will be over fairly quickly. Yeah, getting them sweet storms off. Basically, it's just uh, the finisher. Here, look at this, how many units I lose to the Colossus. The Colossus really did a lot. And here I said it doesn't matter we won, because basically they have zero... Uh, they have zero ways of getting all the towers and getting mid, so... It's just the problem with them is they aren't able to kill my High Templar. That's pr the problem. And the thing that he should have done, I kept, uh, like, since the sudden death, I kept the energy on the ghost on a re uh, really low level, so it wasn't able to kill my uh, High Templar from, the, like, sudden death on out. But I think the main problem is, <laughs> look at them, still going strong, the Colossus. But I think the main uh, thing with them is they should have been more sneaky with the ghost, you know. I didn't lose my High Templar once, and, oh damn, look at this. 2,681 kills. And, uh, yeah, basically what they should have done was, uh, be way more sneaky with the ghost. Go around with the ghost. Go here, you know, walk here, whoa, whoa, whoa. stand, uh, stand over here, you know. And then as soon as I go down with my High Templar, uh, as soon as I move my High Templar down, you know, to storm the army over here, and the ghost being over here, I could just easily EMP it. And it should also, it could also maybe even EMP it when I walk by here, you know, or walk to the middle, you can just EMP it. And this is a very sneaky spot for the ghost to stand in. Yeah, if he'd done that a couple of times, he would have definitely been able to kill my uh, High Templar. Or what he could also do is just walk with the ghost. We walk around, walk around, walk around, walk around, walk a lot around, and stand over here. I wouldn't really expect a ghost to be standing here, you know, you, the average player at least. Including me, I <laughs> wouldn't quite expect the ghost to be standing over here. It's really a nice way to kill the kill everything basically. Uh, yeah, if you have any more questions, uh, put them down below. Uh, don't forget to join my group in StarCraft though, uh, StarCraft Arcade. If you want to join some games, play some games with me, observe high-level games, etc. And I'll see you guys next time.